In the non-tropical parts of the world there are two main types of trees conifers and broadleafed trees. Um, we looked at conifers the last time um, namely lodgepole pine and sitka spruce. Today we have a rowan um, which is obviously we're just in the beginning of February now and this rowan tree is growing out the side of a cliff and uh, there are no leaves or berries to be seen at the moment. The reason it's growing out the side of a cliff is because there is these guys. Let me see if I can zoom in on them. In many parts of the world we have grazing animals which roam around the place and stop any new tree seedlings from growing. They eat the grass, they, grew, they eat anything that grows, so a young tasty tree seedling is a nice snack. So the only place we get the trees growing naturally around here are out the side of cliffs, like here. Which leads me on to the trees that we do have, a lot of the time, are commercial timber plantations like this. Here we see a very distinct line between the well-grazed hillside, then a fence has been put up, conifers, like we were looking at before, are growing inside. The rowan is a deciduous broadleaf tree, which means it sheds its leaves during the winter time. Many broadleaf trees do this, most in this country, apart from something like a holly. There are a few conifers which also shed their needles in the winter time. That's the main difference between conifers and broadleaf trees. Conifers have needles and the broadleaf trees have leaves. There are one or two exceptions. Um, the larch has needles which are shed during the winter time. Uh, so does the dawn redwood and the swamp cypress. Um, and then there's one other tree which until not that long ago was thought to be extinct because it was found in fossils. Um, but then, I think it was in China, um, some living specimens were found. Most of you have probably heard of it. It's called The reason why the rowans grow in such precarious places is that uh, their seeds are spread by birds. In the autumn time they produce these tasty red berries. There's a rowan berry. Birds like to eat them and then they fly off to other places. They enjoy the fruit, they digest the fruit and then they poo out the hard indigestible seeds and when they land in a, on the edge of a cliff or somewhere that the sheep can't get to there's a good chance they can germinate and grow into new trees. Conifers, apart from a few exceptions such as yew and juniper, have cones. This is a pine cone and it comes from one of these Austrian pines. This is a hawthorn tree, and uh, as the thorn part of it implies, it's very prickly. You can see that there are still some red berries on this one. They're similar to rowan in that the birds will eat these berries and then redistribute the not-so-easily digestible seeds elsewhere. <laughs> 